Good morning and happy April to many of you all, our Atlas Pro Plus and um, Atlas Asphalt Life Contractor family. Welcome in to our April webinar. Excited that you all are here. Um, you can hear me. Um, go ahead and put something in the chat and let us know that you are here. Um, where you're from, what you see. Um, today we're going to be talking about your curb appeal and how that, that impacts your digital selling and designing and lead gen and how to close sales with that. So super excited to have all of you on. Um, happy April. I'm Tiara Searcy. I'm the content and digital marketing manager at Atlas Roofing. And um, every month we come with these awesome webinars um, that we're so excited to be able to bring. Um, and they're absolutely free. We do it for one purpose and that's to help train um, and make sure that you all are on the cutting edge. Um, good morning. I'm gonna put a link in the chat to everyone. This is how you wanna keep up with Atlas and all the things we have going on, what webinars we have coming up. We are busy. Um, the Asphalt Life community is thriving and um, we're excited that you all have popped in for today's webinar. Today, I'm super excited because we get to chat with one of, um, one of the really cool minds in um, roofing and design. Um, we get to chat with Brad. Um, who Brad is the Senior v Vice President of Business Development at Rentalworks. And um, he, he and I get to chat a lot about design tools and upcoming opportunities. Good morning, Brad, how are you? Good morning, good morning. Thanks everyone and welcome. <clears throat> yeah, so Brad, I know you have been um, a part of the Rentalworks team for how long now? Seven years. Seven years and based out of Canada. Yes, uh, just an hour outside of Toronto. I'm in a little city called Guelph, Ontario. Uh, our head office is actually based in Calgary, which is the other side of the country. Yeah, <laughs> and Rentworks has been um, the leader in design um, for many years now. You know, I know that as long as I've been at Atlas, working with Atlas, it's it's been, you know, we've partnered with Rentworks as our uh, selected tool, but you guys have really been on the cutting edge on how to help a contractor sell and capture curb appeal with their homeowners to really implement what can be for their new home and roofs. And so um, that's been really cool to watch the evolution of all the cool things that you guys have been doing. Well, thanks. Yeah, thanks very much, Tierra. And we're, we're excited to be uh, to be kind of evolving the technology. And, and we're going to, you know, what we're going to do today is, is just kind of show you uh, some of the things that we've done, um, you know, how you can use the tools, uh, you know, in your day to day business and, and some of the, you know, overcome some of the challenges that you're probably facing out there right now. And, you know, really how you can set yourselves apart. So, um, you know, looking, looking forward to spending the next hour um, chatting about that and, and showing you some cool stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And I, you know, one of the um, ways that you all um, can stay in contact with um, Atlas and what we have going on is by checking out our events page. Um, I put the chat in the link, uh, the link in the chat rather. Um, check out our events page, atlasroofing.com forward slash events. Really great opportunity for you all to delve in, learn more about what's going on across the industry. We partner with partners like Rentalworks, partners like um, NRCA, partners like the Catalyst Group and many, many others who um, are industry leaders um, and on the forefront of what's happening, what changes are coming and how you all can get ahead and stay ahead in your businesses. And so um, without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to you, Brad, to take us further into today's webinar. Okay, well, thank you very much. And so, yeah, so welcome everybody. I'm glad you could join us this morning. Um, what I'm gonna do too, just because I'm gonna be showing a lot of uh, a lot of moving parts and a lot of screen shares and things like that, I don't wanna be rude, but I, I am gonna stop my video temporarily um, just to make sure that uh, I kind of keep the, the computer speed up to par. And we've done this in the past where I'm, if I'm projecting too many things, um, we, we kind of start to start to run out of bandwidth. So I wanna make sure that uh, things go as smoothly as possible today. Uh, but we have a pretty aggressive, uh, 
uh, agenda. So we have a lot of information to kind of cover in the la in the next hour. So I want to be certainly conscious of everybody's time, and uh, and and kind of step through all of the different things that we want to cover today. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the market and some statistics that we have to present, um, and then really kind of dive deep into you know if you're if you're selling um, you know the market and you're, whether you're doing in-home consultations, whether you're doing it remotely. Um, or various ways that you can actually set yourself apart using digital tools in order to help you increase your sales. And so um, that, that's the bulk of what we're going to be doing. If we have time, hopefully we do, we're gonna show you some of the, uh, the, the improvements that we made on the, on the visualizer tools um, just as recently as this past week. And also some of the things that are coming out in the next few weeks um, so you can see where those tools are evolving as well. And at the end, we're going to try to give ourselves enough time for some questions um, and, uh, you know, make sure that everybody gets as, as much value out of today's seminar as possible. So let's get going. And I do have a lot of, a lot of slides here. And the last thing I want to do is bore a lot of people with a lot of PowerPoint slides. So I will be kind of skipping over some, some points and, and really focusing on others that I find uh, that be, will be the most relevant to today's session. Okay, so you know one of the things that we always talk about, and, and you guys are out in the field every day. I mean, you're facing a whole lot of different challenges from from COVID. Hopefully, we're at the tail end of that. Uh, the big thing that I hear every day, that I'm sure you hear every day, is just product shortages in general. Um, you know, there's this massive uh, material shortage, and of course, there's there's lots of other industry things from everything from unemployment to you know financing issues to labor shortages. Um, but I find that, you know, especially what we're going to talk primarily about today is, is the competition. Um, you know, the roofing market is, is very aggressive. I mean, prices are tight. Um, technology is, uh, is growing on lots, lots of different fronts. And so how do you use that technology to really set yourself apart from the competition? So that, that, that last point there is really what I'm going to be focused on more than anything else today as well. But we, we do understand a lot of the challenges that you're facing today. And, um, and we understand that, you know, you don't have a lot of time out there to make, you know, not only good first impressions, but, you know, how do you set yourself apart from that competition? And, and how do you, uh, you know, increase your sales at the end of the day, which is what you're, what you're set out to do. So I, I find it really kind of interesting. And these are some general statistics that, you know, were published by um, various companies like Hanley Wood, Consumer Digest, just to name a couple. But, you know, we find that more and more uh, consumers today are, you know, they're going online, they're researching their products uh, before, you know, they even make a call to you. Um, and, and some of the stats that you see out there is like, for example, 30% of consumers say a visual search greatly impacts their purchase decision. And you see that every day in other markets. So for example, everybody probably on this seminar has gone onto a car website, which is why I'm you know, showing a little image of a car. Um, and you know, you've, you've played around, you've spun the car around, you've said, oh, I wanna see what it looks like in black, or I wanna see what it looks like with, with different color rims, or I wanna change the interior. Um, these are the kind of things that people today are, are, are expecting. It's not, it's not a nice to have anymore. It's, it's almost a must have. Mm -hmm. And so they're searching on social media. They're, um, they're, they're looking at all the different ways on the web that they can research these products. Um, and, and, and that is something that will create a great first impression before you even get a call, before you even get a lead, mm -hmm. or before you even do an actual in-home consultation. And so these are some of the things really on the early, um, you know, part of the process that we should be, be concentrating on. And then the other thing that I find really important is the, is the customization. So, you know, using the car as an example, um, you know, people expect now that they're going to be able to, to choose colors and pick options and things like that, you know, online virtually. But the um, and the stat that you that you've probably faced, you know, in your in your entire careers is and you get asked this, you know, we get asked this every single day, which is really why RenoWorks actually existed to begin with is, um, you know, people look at that that roof swatch or that roof sample and they say, you know, this looks really nice, but, you know, I can't visualize what that's going to look like on my home. 
Mm -hmm. So these statistics are kind of just something that I like to, to, to explain to people, which is it will, it will and, and should affect how you actually do your consultations and how you, you, know, you run your business. And so, you know, what the consumers are expecting today, and again, the, you know, the, one of the things about the, the construction business in general is it has always been traditionally, I've been, I've been kind of in the construction software business for uh, 27 years. I was at Runnerworks for 20, and I was in the, in the 3D CAD world for, for 20, uh, 20 years before the seven at Runnerworks. Um, but what we find that you know, more and more as the technology is becoming um, a common part of the construction industry today is that they really, the customers appreciate the fact that, you know, we have services to help them guide, you know, through their remodeling and home renovation needs. And so um, they also are really want meaningful, you know, interactions. Um, they, they want things that are um, interactive. They want what I like to call a soft landing. So something that's easy, their attention spans are very short as you probably know, but but more importantly, like, like the technology is not replacing the people out there. It's something that the people are now using it. And if they're using it in the right way, um, it's really enhancing the experience because they still want to be able to talk to the expert, even though they, they research ahead of time uh, and they want to be able to play with, you know, some technology, they do actually want to talk to people. They want to find out, you know, what are your thoughts? And so, um, I always like to point out that, you know, these tools will never be a replacement for, for salespeople and contractors. It is something that you will use to enhance the experience because at the end of the day, the consumers do want to talk to you as the expert. And then this is a little, um, you know, survey that actually 3M published a little while back. And, you know, they, they always talk to people and they say, you know, why do they, why do they, how do they choose their contractor? What are, what are the kind of top five reasons that that a consumer uses to choose their contractor? Um, of course, there's lots of things from, from best value and, and availability and things like that. But at the end of the day, most people do lean towards professionalism. Mm -hmm. And even though price is always a factor and quality is definitely a factor, it's always the professionalism that usually sets one contractor apart from another. And so, you know, again, what we're going to be kind of talking about today is, you know, how do you make your, your first visit memorable? Um, you know, how do you leave a good first impression? Um, one of the things that is really, really important to note is, is to come prepared. So the tools that I'm going to be, you know, walking through today, some of you are probably already using those tools. Um, you may be a, fully aware of the feature set. You might not be aware of any of the feature set, or you might only be aware of some of the feature set. So we're going to talk about kind of each point, and, and I'm going to demonstrate the various ways that I've seen people use it and be successful. And again, it's not going to be necessarily a, a one size fits every contractor either. And so you will use what you find is most comfortable, but they are, they are procedures and methods and things that, that have been, you know, fully proven in the field. Um, your well, oh, go ahead, Sierra. I was just going to say, I love this slide because re really, you know, it's so important as we continue to get out there and are meeting homeowners you know, how do we continue to set ourselves apart is using your digital arsenal, right? And so I know you're going to get into some of those um, specific tools, but, you know, just to reiterate what you're saying, Brad, which is if you're a contractor and you're not leveraging the digital capabilities with, you know, after COVID, you need to reconsider your, your go to market strategy with your home homeowners if your website's not up to date, you know, if you don't have a professional appearance. When you show up, you know your social media page is showing your before and afters and you're able to sell that digital experience this goes par and parcel with in hand with your your closing the deal and being able to secure whatever that lead is right because it's so important to make sure that you know you're presenting yourself from your digital capabilities just as much as you're presenting yourself on a business card or with a polo shirt or showing up and having your wrapped truck you know all of these things work together and so you know i love the fact that you're you know bringing this data point out because it is professional your digital selling tool is just as much a part of your 
professionalism as, you know, like I said, a polo or having a wrapped truck that matters and it helps close the deal with your homeowners. No, that's a, that's a great point. And I find like, I mean, one of the things, I mean, we do, you know, Renner works as a company, we deal with a, you know, pretty much every siding manufacturer in the industry, mm-hmm. a lot of roofing manufacturers in the industry, a window door on and on and on. But, and, and, and I'm not saying that just because I'm here, but Atlas is definitely the, you know, the most forward thinking roofing manufacturer that we work with. And, oh. um, and they provide a much, you know, even, a, even, uh, apart from what we what we do with them on the rental work side, they provide a much wider range of digital tools than I think any other roofing manufacturer out there that I'm aware of. No, oh, appreciate that, Brad. You know, we, we try to help our contractors set themselves apart. And so, you know, good. I'm excited for these next slides on how we can show, you know, really in, in capture that. Great. So one of the first things that, you know, and this kind of touches touches on uh, Tierra's point quite a bit is, you know, the digital tools on the website. So, um, and I think you're probably, you've probably all heard about it. Probably a lot of you are using it today. Um, Some of you may or may not be using it today, but you know, the visualizer that RentalWorks offers is available on the Atlas website today, but it's also available for all of you to put on your website as well. Mm -hmm. And so they have a, a web injector tool um, where you can go up there and, uh, you know, quickly and easily embed that same visualizer that Atlas has on their website into your website as well. And so just as a, and I'm just going to jump over now a little bit. So for those of you who are not familiar, you know, this is the page where it has all the different, you know, roof inspiration tools. And then, so you'll see that there's the visual product selector, roof swap, but here is where you actually get the RentalWorks visualizer as well. So here, you know, you can use that. You can use the web injector tool um, to actually put that on the website. And so here is, is where you find that information. And then like, here's just an example of a contractor that actually has embedded that, that visualizer on the website. Um, and, there's, and there's lots of different ways of doing it, quite frankly. The, you know, one of the ways is you can just link to it and open it up in a new tab. This contractor, as an example, uh, embedded it into an iframe. And so it, it's right on their website and it, they have a little roof design center here uh, on their website. And when you click on it, there, there's the visualizer tool. So it's one of those ways where you can put the visualizer on your site, which helps promote your brand even further. And when people use it, that's another way where you can attract leads directly, um, directly from your website. Yeah, and I wanted just to add to that, Brad, what you know we've been we tell a lot of our contractors is you know you don't have to necessarily be the design expert in the home but you can Im- use these type of tools to empower your homeowners to be able to have that design tool right there at their fingertips without having to go to atlas's website right this design center tool that you're referencing is really cool because it is embedded right inside of uh, this roofing contractor's website. And so a homeowner um, doesn't have to be sent back to Atlas's website in order to, to utilize the tool. They can use it right from your kitchen table. If you pull it up for Mrs. Smith and show her, yeah, we actually have a design tool where you can design your new roof, pick out colors, um, trim, siding, and uh, additional features, that's huge, right? Even if you just show them and then ask them to jump in. And then some of you all who are more digitally savvy can take that extra step of taking a photo of the front of their home and uploading it for them, right? And showing them, walking them through that selling process. Again, what, what Brad's saying essentially is, I want to give you the wherewithal to set your business apart, right? And, you know, that is a big set apart because I can guarantee eight out of 10 contractors are not doing this. They're not coming to a homeowner's kitchen table and saying, hey, um, Mrs. Smith, let's actually design your new roof. Let's design your new um, gutters and your siding and your trim. They're not doing that. So for you to be able to do that right from your website is a game changer that, again, helps you close leads, helps you take your business to another level and helps you make that professional 
to Brad's point, um, a, a appearance to your homeowners. So really exciting. Yeah, and the other thing that's really kind of, and this is a, a statistic that RentalWorks kind of tracks across the board with really, really with all of our clients, um, is that like some, you know, people will come to your website and, and, and we talk about, you know, the short attention spans of the average consumer, which quite frankly are getting shorter and shorter as the generations get younger and younger because there's so much information being thrown at them. Somebody will come to your website and, you know, you're lucky if they, if they spend one or two minutes, um, you know, quite frankly on your site. But what we find in general with somebody is using the, the visualizer itself, they're spending usually between 15 and 30 minutes on that visualizer. So the, you know, the one, the one important thing that that does is uh, it keeps them on the site longer every, you know, and every minute that they're on there longer, you're not only promoting the Atlas brand, but you're obviously pro promoting your contractor brand as well. So time on site translates into brand promotion, which typically translates into, more, you know, not, not a insurance that they're going to buy from you, but certainly definitely improves your odds. For sure. For sure. Okay. So that's just one way where you can use the tools without really having to do, uh, you know, any work other than, you know, tell the consumer that, hey, go on there and, you know, play with some colors, play with some options. Um, you know, you don't even in this particular case necessarily have to learn the tool yourself. But really the next part of our session is going to be, um, you know, explaining a little bit more how you would use the tool in a consultation to better increase the chance of, of making a sale. Okay. So what I, and, and the, it's not, again, a, a one size fits all. I always tell people, you know, these are the kind of things that I want to talk about that I find have been really successful, you know, over the years. Um, I, you know, and I have here like your first visit, these type of things may not always be done on your first visit. Again, you got to kind of bite off what you feel comfortable with, depending on, on your, uh, Kind of level of expertise and, and comfort level with technology but for the purposes of this i'm talking about you know what you could do on your first visit whether that be a remote visit you know because of covid you probably did you know a, a number of remote visits or now that we're kind of getting back into the swing of things you're going to do a lot more in-person visits again or at least i i would hope that we're going to be doing that uh in very shortly so these are the kind of the different things that I want to talk about. And these are actual features in the software, which I will explain each one of those in depth. Again, some of you may be using some of them now, all of them, or in some cases, none of them. And so we're going to make the assumption that you're not that familiar with it. What I'm going to do is, is talk about each one and point out the advantages of each one, but also some potential pitfalls, because I want to be realistic to say, you know, these kind of things work really well but watch out for this. And, yeah. and so when you're using it out in the field, you're gonna have the most chances of being successful with the tools. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is what we call uh, quick view. And so the Atlas tool uh, has a relatively new feature. It's been out there, I guess, for about a year now called quick view. And for those of you who remember the, the you know, kind of the traditional tools that, that RentalWorks has done over the years, you always had to upload a photo and you had to manually trace around the roof or the siding or the doors or the windows in order to prepare an image for, for design and, and color selection. And, and I mean, that was the way we did it for 20 years. We still do it, it's still part of the tool and some people really like it and enjoy it and want that level of fine tuning. But in full disclosure, a lot of people who weren't necessarily that comfortable with technology would shy away from visualizers because they didn't want to spend the time or the time learning how to use those manual, what we call masking tools. But now with quick view, it's, it's really, you know, I don't necessarily like to, like to use the word, you know, game changer, but for rental works and for our customers, it really actually has changed totally the way that, that they do business. We've increased, you know, in general across the board, the amount of people uploading photos successfully and designing has literally increased by over 10 times the amount um, since we introduced wow. this. And, and so, um, so don't be afraid of it. It's one of those things where, you know, I do, I do know that people were a little bit afraid of, of the manual masking tools over the years. They still use sample projects and they still were able to use it, but the, the upload was one of those things that were a little, little hesitant to learn. But with QuickView now, 
use it, try it, play it. You'll find that it is, it's, it's really come a long way and it makes it so easy for anybody to be able to, to upload a home and be able to do some quick changes, which will translate into really impressing your product. So what I find is it is working really well and where people are really successful. Let's say you do a site visit before you even knock on that door. Um, take a take take your phone. Take a really nice photo. And, and phones these days have you know great great cameras in them. Take a really nice clear. Doesn't have to be straight on, but uh, if if free of obstructions, that always will get you uh, kind of the best best quality results. And then when you go in, um, you you know you knock on the door. You say hi to your client. You you know you do your niceties. Um, when the, you know when the time is right, you don't want to necessarily you know shove a, a phone uh, screen in their face. But you know when the time is right, you, you can say, "Well, this is your house, and we can start making color selections." Typically, they're reacting; mm -hmm. they're going to be blown away. They're going to be saying, "Like, when did you do this? Um, like, did you did you come by my house a week ago, and did you take a picture, and then you you know had this prepared?" You say, "No, no, I just took the camera and I took it outside before I walked in the door," and they're going to be like they'll remember that. Um, and so I'm going to, I'm going to kind of show you for those of you who are not, um, are not familiar with, with how that works today, but basically like, here's the visualizer. Um, as I mentioned, the traditional tools to prepare it yourself is still there, but we have this function called quick view. And basically if now, if it's on a phone or a tablet, which it will work on both I'm running on the desktop, you will see a slightly different variation of this screen because it's on a phone, it'll say, do you want to choose from your camera roll or do you want to take a picture of your phone? Whereas I'm on a desktop, so it's just asking me to upload a photo. But the, the approach is the same. So for example, if I upload a photo, what happens now is, and before we had quick view, um, quite frankly, the, the phone was difficult because you had to trace around it and with your fingers on a tiny little phone screen, it was, it was next to impossible on a phone, but now it's actually works really, really well. And so you can take a picture of your phone in about 15 to 20 seconds. You can have that photo ready to go before you even enter that person's home. So what, so here's a good example. I just uploaded this photo and, and live the, uh, the AI or what we call the artificial intelligence, the quick view automatically found the roof automatically found the siding, the doors and windows. And so depending on what you're there for, if you're there for example, just a roof replacement job, then I would just go in and say, you know, hey, have you considered what that's going to look like with, you know. Now, Brad, I have a question in, in comment here. So, you know, you uploaded your roof, you mentioned, you know, the ease of use when you pull up to a home and just taking that photo. But, you know, also the, you know, opportunity to do it beforehand when you're prepping for your call or whatever, they can go on Google Maps and find a photo of the home as well there. Yes, they can. As long as that Google Street View image is a good quality image. Um, okay. Yes, they can kind of do a screen capture of that and they can upload it in the tool and they can have that. Um, and then and that's where if you're a little bit more savvy with the with the manual tools, mm -hmm. you know, you can fine tune that and do that before they show up on site as well. Yeah, I mean, just contractors take a photo of the home if you, you're pulling up, but even if you're not, jump on Google Maps and 90% of the homes are there. Just grab a photo of that and then you can upload that photo into this tool. It'll automatically mask and outline the roof for you, which I know, Brad, to your point, that was a, a bear, right? Before you guys up, updated the tool about a year and a half ago, we had to outline the, the roof on our own. But now you guys have made it super simple for us for a contractor to just Literally, all they needed is a photo of the house and upload it, and the tool does the rest of the work for them, and you know it helps them to go ahead and start designing. Yes, yeah, no, that's a very good point. And and again, kind of in full disclosure, I want to make sure we kind of outline the good with the bad, you know, because everything's not always a perfect scenario. So with Street View as a good example, and this is kind of the the hard truth of the technology. Street View tends to be lower resolution imagery than what mm -hmm. your phone can take. 
So even though it's a great thing to do, and um, you know, it's one of those things where you can get a street view image that'll work really, really well because it's nice and sharp and clean and it'll get a great image. And you can also get a street view image that doesn't work very well just because there's a ton of trees in front of the house or the imagery is poor, or maybe the imagery is in, in Google is actually quite old. Mm -hmm. You can actually look up at the top of the street view page and see when that image was actually taken. So and I always I always uh, tell people to be careful because you could take a street view image and show up if you're not familiar with that person's home and that street that Google street view image could be two years oh, old. Yeah. So uh, where, where do you see that on the Google Maps just so that we know um, if they're on Google Maps and are putting in an address, then where would they find the date? Um, that's a good. I'll see if I can find one, actually. OK. Um, and if I go street view here, I'm just typing in something quickly here. Um, wow, this is a different one. Uh, let's see, where would they find the date? Usually you can find it. They've actually changed this since the last time I looked. Mm -hmm. uh, right here, it says image capture November 2020, 2020. at the bottom. Yep, yep. So mm -hmm. depending on, on where you are, you know, city centers, Google takes them much more often. Um, but like in this case, this was November 2020. So that's actually pretty recent, which is great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but but I've, I've seen situations before where um, they show up and they go, well, you're, you're not even showing my edition. Well, when did you put that on? Oh, last summer. Yeah. Oh, so, you know, just just kind of one of those gotchas to be careful of. Sure. Sure. OK, great. Okay. Thanks for showing us that. Um, so so there's kind of, kind of a couple of different ways that you can that you can approach that issue. And so I find that street, uh, sorry, um, quick view. The other thing that's important to know about quick view is I mentioned kind of earlier, it does not have to be a straight on shot. So if you have an image, like maybe there's a tree right in front of the house and you're not going to get a straight on shot right in front of the house, even though it will, it will find the tree and work around it. Um, there's nothing wrong with, um, with taking it from uh, an odd angle because typically we do our best to find the, the information set the scale, set the perspective on the roof. And so like, here's an example that's uploading that is doing all of that preparation and, um, and it'll should turn out pretty well. And so you can, you can kind of go here, um, you can, um, you can select the roof and, and I'll use a lighter color. It's just a little bit easier to see on screen. Usually <clears throat> you'll see it found that pretty well and set the perspective and slow pretty well on that roof. So it doesn't necessarily, and it even found that tree that was in front of the house and, and, and mapped around that as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Other thing to note, it's not perfect. I mean, this is actually pretty good, but you'll see that sometimes there's a little bit of jaggies in here here and there, but it gives a really good impression what somebody's going to look like. However, um, a really important thing to note is on your phone or on an iPad, a smaller size screen, those little imperfections are less likely to be noticed. So, you know, pulling out your phone, taking a picture, boom, showing the customer some of those little imperfections that might be there that are getting better all the time uh, are almost impossible to see on a phone. Got it. So quick views are probably, in my opinion, you know, one of you, you, your most valuable tool in a, in a visualizer yeah. like this now that we have it. I love, I love that tool. I think it, it really is a game changer. Okay, another thing that's really, that's really, uh, I, I think an important thing is what we call palettes. So in the tool, um, the, the palettes are kind of predefined combinations of roofing and siding and stone and trim and things like that, that in a, in a single click, you can apply to your building. Um, if you're logged in and you create an account, you can actually create your own palettes as well. But I find where palettes become very, very useful is let's say you show up on site, whether it's pre-prepared or you take the picture and, and upload it, clicking on a palette is a very fast way of gauging the customer's reaction. Um, because they'll, they'll, first of all, typically their eyes will widen a little bit and they go, oh, you just changed the color of that whole house. They might give you some really good feedback like, oh, I really hate that, that color or I really like that. It's a good way to get the conversation going and mm -hmm. also a good way to gauge that client's interest with a single mouse click. Okay. It's also a good way to, you know, don't be afraid of feedback. Customer says, oh, that's ugly. Yeah. I mean, cause I'm personally, I'm, I'm, I'm the worst ugly color chooser you've ever met. Um, <laughs> but it's a great way of saying, oh, really, what don't you like about it? 
and they'll tell you what they don't like about it because people always love to tell you what they don't like and it will really foster a conversation further so they will tell you what they do like and also you know brad the thing i like about this as well is that if the contractor isn't a designer which you know no offense guys on the call but you know most of we most of us aren't this gives you a starting point to have that conversation right to be able to to at least say well here's some predefined color palettes you know well i i like the browns i, I want to stay in the brown family or i want to stay in the blues family or you know i i, I am kind of like what's what's your style and that's something you can walk through with that homeowner without being a professional designer it literally has all the different style types on there classic um whatever different types that brad um has up there. there there's like eight of them that you can choose from so makes it super simple yeah and so so a good example just so you so you kind of know you know where where to find that information is um you'll find that when you have um some I'm just actually looking for oh, the palettes. Oh, I see why I'm using the wrong, I'm using the wrong site. I'm using the Atlas contractor site. Didn't have, it doesn't have palettes. Yeah. But uh, that's okay. As you see, you see, uh, you see our live uh, working without a net here. So here on, on the Atlas site, you'll see that actually it has palettes. So a good example, whether this is a sample home or an uploaded photo, what we're talking about here is these palettes right here on the left. And so instead of saying, I wanna select the roof and the windows and the, and the siding and the stone individually, which all takes a little bit of time, these palettes are a one click situation where you can click on it and it will, uh, it will apply a combination of all of those different products in a single step. And so kind of to Tierra's point, you can get, uh, first of all, an instant reaction. You can, uh, you know, do it without spending really any time making selections. But then once they give you some feedback, and, and so just so you know where to find this, there's, there's products and then there's palettes. Once they give you some feedback going, you know, I really don't like dark roofs, for example, then you can go back to the products page and say, oh, well, let's go in now and start choosing what you do like, whether you, you know, do you like the grays? Do you like the browns? Do you like the tan colors? Right. And so it just, it's a great way of quickly fostering a conversation. Mm -hmm. Love it. Okay. Well, go on to the next one. So snapshots, this is something that's a little bit more in depth. Okay. So uh, some of you will, will use it and some of you may not use it. But I always think it's important to note when the right time is to use it. So what a snapshot is, is when somebody is really starts to get engaged. And so you do have to have an account created. For those of you who are not familiar, you have to create an account in order to save projects or share them or, or do things like that. But once you actually have um, maybe a design that you're working on you, and you save your project, what you now have the ability to do is take snapshots. Again, it's one of those things where when you're working with a customer, once they, if, if and when they start getting really engaged and they say, you know what, I really like that one, instead of, because you can always go, you know, kind of compare before and after in front of the customer. But what you can also do is take a snapshot. So if the customer says, I really like that one, remember it, take a snapshot. Then when you're going to be sitting down and maybe interacting a little bit more with that customer and say, well, you know, what do you, what do you like uh, if, you, if you happen to have a gray roof? And they say, yeah, I really like that one too. Great. Take another snapshot. Okay. So these snapshots, you can have up to 10 of these and they're great ways of when somebody's going through and making selections that they like, the ones that they don't like, you don't have to, you don't have to save them. But it's one of those great ways with if I've saved this project, these snapshots will also be saved with the project. And that at any time during the conversation, you can go, well, let's go back and look at that first one again. And so like the before and after tool, you can be going through and, and engaging the client, engaging them, getting their opinions and being able to save their, their projects. This project can be saved. We'll talk about sharing it um, a little bit later, but it can be saved with the project. So all of these saved combinations also get saved with the project mm -hmm. okay yeah so you talk about curb appeal i mean now you've really helped the homeowner to visualize what their curb appeal issue was and where they can go and grow to and not just on their roof 
you general contractors, you guys who are doing more than just, you know, roofing, you may be doing roofing and gutters or roofing and windows. This is giving you the whole experience in one tool. I love this, Brad. This is great. Great, great. And I, I want to make sure I'm conscious of everybody's time. I mean, I can go longer, but I, yeah. I, uh, I got a lot of information to cover. So uh, another really thing, and this kind of this kind of stems to Tierra's curb appeal um, comment is is the aging slider. So you and I know out there, everybody, you talk about Scotchgard and the benefits and and making sure that uh, people really understand you know, why an Atlas roof with, with Scotchgard on some of your products is a real advantage, you know? And so, and you guys know this, you know, far better than I do. One of the things that we built in the tool, which is, is exclusive to the Atlas tool is an interactive uh, aging slider. And so how that works is if you pick a certain type of roof and, and it doesn't, it, it basically works with the roofs that are, uh, that, you know, that have Scotchgard already built in um you you will see uh, what happens when it actually renders oh what's a good example of that uh premium shingle pinnacle pristine okay so depending on the shingle this particular shingle um has um has scotch guard okay as one of as one of the advantages you'll see that there's a little see the atlas difference here okay and when you uh, when you click on that um, what you can actually show the client is interactively, you know, if you put on an Atlas roof, you know, in three years, or let's say in five years, um, you know, the, the image on the right will show you what that Atlas roof is still going to look like. But the image on the left would give somebody an indication on, well, you know, it's going to start to see streaks and things like that. So it's kind of a, a fun, interactive way of, of reinforcing the Scotchgard advantage and the Atlas advantage. And again, it's one of those things where you might not use it in every consultation, but depending on how your customer um, is uh, kind of engaged with the tool and how they are um, reacting, you know, to the tool. Some people will really, really react positively and they'll go, wow, let's, let's, let's sit down and learn more. Other people will go, yeah, that's cool. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I just want to find out, you know, do I want a brown roof or do we want a gray roof? So, you know, you kind of have to understand that balance a little bit, but it is one of those little bit more advanced tools where you can use it to really drive home the advantages of, of the Scotchgard. Yeah. So when you're selling on Scotchgard, guys, this, this is a tool that, you know, you're taking that person's house essentially and, and showing them what their roof will look like before and after. This is a great final point right in to, to Brad's point on selling the difference of sketch guard protector. And then the other, and really kind of the last thing that I want to talk about when it comes to the tools is leaving a design report. Um, it's one of those things where, when you know, when you walk out of there, you've, you've been there for, you know, you've been talking about the products and things like that is it's always nice to have a little leave behind. Now you're not necessarily going to have a printer with you um, or your, you know, your customer is not going to say, Hey, yeah, let's print this off. But what they might say is, and I always find it's, it's good to ask people, um, you know, do you want me to leave you behind what we've been designing here? And if they say yes, that's a really, really good buying signal um, because now they, they know that you're giving them something um, and that they probably want to see you again. You know, if they say no, he's like, okay, well, how did that go? But the yes is, you know, selling 101, a lot of yeses is always a good sign. So, you know, you can always print them off a PDF. You can email them the PDF so they have it at their disposal. Um, or if you have a way of printing it off, then that's even better. And so just so you kind of know, um, you know, how that works is when I, I'm, I'm and I'm just going to save this project here at the top, you have this little report thing. The other thing that it's always good to note that a lot of people don't know is where here it says my new project. You can always go here and customize it. You can say this is the Jones residence, for example. And so when you do that, you've kind of customized that. So when you now go to the report, if you have snapshots as well, then you can determine which of these snapshots you want to include in the report. If you don't, this, this page doesn't appear in the setup. But then when you go to the design report, the Jones residence will appear. So it's now personalized for that client. And then depending on it, you can show each iteration of each snapshot and which products were actually used in that design. Branded by Atlas with a little bit of information on, um, you know, on the company and, and things like that. So it's a really, really good way of um, 
kind of reinforcing the brand and giving the consumer something to remember you by. Okay, so this is just a, a, a review of what we talked about here. The send project link, that's really just uh, being able to send them, you know, if you, if you leave with a design, uh, one of the things that's always important to note is you can share, you can share it on Facebook, Twitter, you can also email them that link. What you're actually doing is you're emailing them this link up here, which is part of the URL. And it's something that you can send to the customer and then they can continue to play around with. If you want them to, your snapshots will be saved. And so sharing a project, if you feel that that was a really good consultation and they were really reacting positively to the tool, um, share the link, make sure that they uh, remember you and have something to, to kind of play around with after you leave. And so on the, on the initial visit, you know, or, or you know, first visit, first two, first two visit, these are the kind of highlights that I recommend. Um, and again, what you're trying to do is reinforce not only the Atlas brand, but your brand as well as a contractor to make sure that you're remembered. Okay. Uh, the second part of what we want to talk about is, you know, now that you, it, once you've got somebody who's really, really interested and really, um, you know, kind of excited, you, you're, you're pretty sure that um, you're going to get a sale out of these guys. And, every, and again, everybody's going to do maybe this in a little different order, what they're most comfortable with, but what I call the closing visit. Um, other things that you can do once you have a really good feel for this client that you're going to get something out of it um, that you can do. So one of the things that you can do is what they call order a pro view. This is uh, something where it's a service that Runaworks offers where you can upload your photo. And if you don't want to you know, spend extra time making, making an image perfect, we actually offer a service. Uh, it's like $50 for, for a full wall, roof, door, window, 2D image or roof only is, is 25 bucks. And it takes a couple of days to come back typically, but if you really wanna make a high good impression and you're you know, figuring you know what, this guy, this, this, this customer is gonna close or high probability of closing, you know, it's worthwhile spending the $50 because I'm gonna give them the best quality image you know, based on our consultation. So that's one thing that, um, you know, I know a lot of the Atlas contractors use that today. Um, but I find it's, it's a really, really good reinforcement when you have an interested client. Um, a couple of the other things that you're probably familiar with today is, you know, ordering uh, Eagle View reports. And, and I'm sure many of you today do that. You go through the Atlas, you know, pro portal. Um, this is just a slide that, that kind of illustrates where to find that. But what Renoworks has done is we've, we've actually added the technology that somebody can order the 2D which is free, by the way, it uses the quick view directly from this portal, or you can also order a 3D model. And so whether you've generated an Eagle View report and you get it back in this portal, or whether you're generating it now, you can now order this 3D uh, button. And what will happen is it will send us the Eagle View data and then Renoworks will send back a 3D interactive model of, of that actual Eagle View information. So what that looks like, and I just blew this up a little bit, and, I, and I'm showing this link specifically because I want people to understand the difference. And so here's an ex here's that link. And, and you, you may ask, well, why is there no doors and windows in this link? And, I, and I'm showing this because if you order a roof only report, what you're gonna get back is Eagle View in a roof only report doesn't actually have doors and windows. For those of you who are already using this, you, you may have wondered why that is. If you order a property report, which is walls, doors, windows, then you will actually get an interactive image that actually has your doors and windows in it. But I thought this was a really good example. In this particular case, you can also use all of those same products, excuse me, products that you have in the Atlas and, and actually use it on your interactive 3D model. And so it's just another way that you can use the tools to show that customer maybe, you know, this is what that roof is going to look like from all angles, from all sides. <clears throat> the other thing that you may or may not um, know is that, and this comes back in the Atlas visualizer. So the other thing that we actually have here is a, uh, a measurements tab. That measurements tab will show you those interactive measurements on that model. So, you know, this is something that you may or may not want to show the consumer, but for your own benefit, it's a really nice interactive tool where you can select, for example, on this roof surface, 
it will show you that area of roof as you're selecting. So we call this on the left, the inspector tool, and you can go through and you can kind of interactively select the different surfaces. So if, for example, you're just doing an addition and you only want to talk about, you know, this part of the building right here, you can kind of select those areas and it'll total up just those areas that are selected. And some of the things that are coming very, very shortly is you're going to actually have a report tab here in very short order. When clicked on it, you're going to see the Eagle View report that you're getting now if you're ordering Eagle View directly in this Atlas branded visualizer. So that's coming very, very soon as, as kind of a new feature. Um, and that's going to be introduced and you're going to see that updated, uh, you know, probably within a few weeks, I would think. But this is a good way of enhancing, uh, you know, the Eagle View reports that you're already doing. And again, one of those things that you can use as a, as a digital selling advantage. Some of the other things that actually, um, and, and I, I don't know if this is a good place, do we want to stop for questions now? Because I know we're, we're getting a little short on time, or do we want to push through, kind of talk about some of the improvements that we've made and then leave the end for questions? Yeah, why don't we keep going? And then guys, if you have any questions about anything that we've said so far, please put it in the chat and then we'll catch them on the end. Okay, fantastic. So I had mentioned that one of the things that we're doing is the, the Eagle View integration of the reports. Um, the other thing that we're, we have done, it actually just went live this past week, is you may or may not have noticed if you're using the tool on a daily basis for the 2D, the quick view just got enhanced quite a bit. So now we have smoother edges, a lot better definition. Um, we a much, does a much better job of recognizing the roof around trees and obstructions and things like that. So it, it is subtle, but as a, as a good example, this is, you know, a, a week and a half ago, you were getting, you know, quite a, and, and I'll use this example because it's an example that I used uh, in the presentation. You, you were seeing some, some real jagged edges, for example, on the, on the edges and the areas. But now you'll notice that you're uploaded, you're seeing much more smooth definitions, the perspective, the scale is a much cleaner. Uh, the improvement that we, we made this past week was primarily for the roof, not necessarily for the walls. But now that we've, uh, we've kind of pushed that live, you're, you're going to see the next step, which is some drastic improvements for the, for, you know, for the siding and the openings. But I know that more of you are using the roof specifically, you know, in the Atlas visualizer. Um, so that was the priority and we've, we've done some, some pretty, pretty nice things. So now I think you can have a lot more confidence in using the quick view tool, which we talked about earlier in the seminar, because you're going to see much, much nicer results, um, than you were even seeing a week ago. So that's one kind of major, uh, advantage that we did. The other thing that you're, um, that you're going to see in the next few weeks is, and, and I'll just kind of use this as an example. Um, because here's an example, we showed the previous example, which was a, a roof only example, which is why you saw, you know, no, no doors and windows. <clears throat> but here's an example of what you would get today in, in the Atlas tool, if you also ordered a siding report and a roofing report from Eagle View, you would get uh, the interactive model that has, um, you know, all of the different surfaces attached. And you'll see, like, for example, if I and this is just so you know what fast track is. This is actually the Renoworks brand, but I'll, I'll definitely put in uh, some Atlas products here. Um, so you'll see that, you know, it has the ability to, to put on, you know, the roof material, the siding material, all of those different things. But it is a little, you know, it's, it's nice and it's cool because it's interactive, but it's a little bit cartoony. Um, so one of the major enhancements that you're going to be say, seeing next month is that 3D model is going to be drastically enhanced. Woo! Yes, that looks good. And you're going to get this kind of automatically. We'll kind of announce when that's coming out. Now, this um, this particular example is not the actual interface. This is actually a test site that we're doing. And the only reason you're you're seeing metal roofing here as opposed to asphalt is because we're we're kind of experimenting with things like shine and reflection, which will of course translate into lots of different building materials. But what we're doing is, you know, blending it into the existing tool, you'll be able to do things like, you know, time of day, um, you'll see much, much more richer detail on the building, automatic hips and ridges and valleys will be applied from the Eagle View data automatically, so you won't have to do those things. And then you'll even be able to go in and play with, you know, different backgrounds and things like that on your image. 
So probably the, probably the most significant enhancements to the 3D model side of things, again, weeks away, is a difference between a model that looks like this versus a model that looks like this. And so for those of you who are, I know, I think the Eagle View 3D model integration, we launched that about six months ago, four to six months ago, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I know it's been well, really well received because so many of you are using it already, um, but you're going to see a, you know, kind of a big, big enhancement jump um, over the next few weeks. So that kind of covers the seminar. I know I kind of put her, uh, I closed it pretty tight on time. So um, again, I'm happy to stay longer if people want to, uh, uh, you know, want to ask more questions. But I uh, appreciate everybody's time today. And at this point, I'd love to open up for questions. Yeah. Um, let's see. No questions yet. Any questions about um, the tool specific to um, any of the things that you've seen today? Some of the enhancements. Again, the uh, 3D design tool with the um, visualizer that's coming next month is gonna be super exciting because you'll be able to actually put sky and trees to your 3D model that you'll be able to give to your homeowners. And as a reminder, um, all of the access that you need to utilize the Atlas Web Injector to get started with your, your embedding your um, design studio tool inside of the website is available in the Atlas Roofing uh, Pro portal. So you can get registered. Um, if you don't have an Atlas Pro account, um, it's free to sign up. And I'm putting the link in the chat. Just log in there and you'll click on design tools. And under there, you'll see the Atlas Web Injector tool. You also see the um, Rental Works design tool. Lots of opportunity to take your selling to another level with design and um, maximize curb appeal. So Brad, um, no questions have come in, but feel free to send Brad a email if you have any. And um, we'll definitely be sending out this webinar. Um, I know I saw some questions about, about that. Um, so we will be sending that out um, within the next 24 hours for you all to take advantage of. So until then, we will see you on May the 5th for our next webinar talking about financing and a finance strategy. Until then, guys, don't forget, live and play together. Talk soon. Bye, Brad. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Thank you.